But we begin tonight with a survey that shows 98% of 272 nurses at the county's Monaco DHB have experienced short staffing. And 93% of those surveyed felt they had reached the limits of safe practice as a result of those staff shortages. Now, last night, Checkpoint revealed voluntary redundancies were about to be offered at the county's Monaco DHB. We've been looking at the pressures on DHBs throughout the country for two months now, most particularly at the Southern DHB and the Urology Department at Dunedin Hospital, but not exclusively by any means. Checkpoint believes estimated deficits for the current financial year are now totalling higher than at any time since National became government in 2008 across the country's 20 DHBs combined. Counties Monaco says voluntary redundancies would free resources for redistribution to frontline care. The Association of Salaried Medical Specialists says it's bonkers and yet further evidence of the financial pressure DHBs are under. Today, Checkpoint has obtained a survey done by the New Zealand Nurses Organisation as a direct measure of the pressure their members at the county's Monaco DHB feel under on health's front line. This includes Middlemore Hospital, of course. And we begin with the first question nurses were asked. Have you experienced short staffing in your ward or team lately? 272 people answered that question. 267 of them said yes. That's a rate of 98%. I asked a union member who's a nurse at Counties Monaco, have you ever had the experience of feeling like you were short-staffed at work? Um, I'd, like to, uh, I'd like you to find somebody that doesn't feel like that working as a nurse. And that's exactly what the survey records. So the sort of messages that were coming through from the survey, and what members were saying, is that they were feeling uh, that they were going home and their job wasn't being done as well as, as they would like. That's a union delegate at the CMDHB. The nurses we spoke to today did not want to be named because they loved their jobs, but they were adamant, they are short-staffed, and they are stretched. And it's nationally that that is happening too. I don't think it's just um, counties. I think that happens on a national basis. There's people are feeling that. That much is what we've been told and have reported on at length over the past two months from other DHBs. But this survey is particular to Counties Monaco, where 98% of 272 nurses have directly described staff shortages. And how did they describe the impact of that? Here's question two of the survey. Do you feel that you have reached the limits of safe practice as a result of an acute staffing shortage? 264 nurses answered that question. 246 of them said yes. That's a rate of 93%. And the question they were answering yes to is whether an acute staffing shortage has led them to the limits of safe practice. Short staffing, full wards. Nurse after nurse describes that. We are constantly running over 100% occupancy. That's one nurse. Here's another. We are often short-staffed. On some shifts, we have more bureau staff working than our rostered nurses. Despite the DHB's refusal to talk to us, that claim is externally measurable. Checkpoint has obtained the minutes of the DHB's board meeting from the 2nd of August. It contains the finance and corporate business report for May of this year and it lists staff costs. Net nursing staff costs are... $2.6 million unfavourable year to date. Unfavourable. And the first reason listed for this? Bureau use to cover high acute demand. Bureau use, that's often temp staff brought in during periods of acute staffing shortages or increased demand. Now, Checkpoint has obtained this material the day after we obtained a letter from the CEO of the county's Monaco DHB indicating an intention to offer a voluntary cessation scheme. Yes, as nurses talk of being short-staffed and the impact of that on patient care, as we reported last night, the DHB is planning to offer voluntary redundancy. This is a verbatim quote. This scheme offers these staff members an opportunity to request a payment if they cease their employment with Counties Monaco Health. Today we spoke to doctors and nurses at all levels of Counties DHB. None told us they think voluntary redundancies are the answer. Are the NZNO members at Counties Monaco who you deal with and who you have spoken to feeling under pressure as a result of staff shortages? Yes. 
I think many of them are feeling under pressure due to staff shortages. It was a, that was a union delegate at the County's Monaco DHB. So what does County, County's Monaco DHB say in response to this? What does the Ministry say in response to this? And what does the Minister say in response to this? None of them were available for an interview. As an aside, the Ministry of Health has consistently not been available for interviews since we started covering these stories two months ago.